Steve. I'm living in an RV down by the river. It's a sad situation, but it is what it is. Welcome to RV Steve. Today you're going to see me dry and repair a leak from the rooftop. Come with me. <laughs> It'll be fun. Going up. Okay, there was a puddle here. When I cleared it off of the broom. Now I gotta get a towel. So this is the leak. I, I attempted once to repair it with rubber sealant. Apparently that didn't hold. So we're going to try again today on RV Steve. Okay, so far I taped everything. The lid. I got taped down here. Make sure any after spray goes over. It doesn't go on the engine or anything. So uh, all I need to do now is lower the vent. I'll be good to go. Okay, just got done spraying. And just gonna wait for it to dry. Hope that the clouds don't roll in. Because it's gonna be a bad storm this evening. Right here on RV Steve. Okay, 24 hours later after application. Hi, I'm RV Steve, and welcome to the RV Steve Show. This is episode two, The Visitor. This will be my first visitor that I've ever had in my new, old RV. And in a few minutes, my buddy from work will show up. He's a pretty cool little dude. They call him Little Steve. Yeah, we all like him. He's a character. It's like, hey, I'll beat your ass. Yeah, he's a cool guy. As soon as he knocks on the door, expect him any second. Yeah. Well, after the break here, uh, we'll come back and see what happens. <laughs> Who is it? What are you doing, bitch? Hey, what's going on, man? That's sweet. Thanks for stopping by. RV Steve Show. You can do the hardcore one, which is the ice. Yeah, natural ice. Or. That's what's up. You can do. Oh. Another one. Yeah, sweet. Or you can do a Snickers bar. Say, hey, Snickers bar, sweet. Or actually, no, there's no more on this one. If you want me to do something, you want me to do. Sweet. You're doing this. All right. You are doing this. <laughs> All right. And that is. That's what I got I'm... one for me too. Cool. Ghost you know that, it's, No, it's, it's Oh, absolute. Sweet. Should be sweet, man. Shouldn't be too hard on you. Should just be sweet. Just one just a shot. One shot. Damn. Okay. Let's do they it. They got man. me a Snickers bar too. Sweet. They got me some sweet. <laughs> this is great, man. <laughs> Today on my show, I'm going to answer a few email questions you guys sent me. 
you guys seem to think I know a lot about RVs and I can answer your questions. Well, it's probably the furthest thing from the truth. But nevertheless, we got Jimmy here from Ohio. Jimmy writes me in and he goes, Hey man, I like your show, Steve. It's really cool living in an RV down by the river. That's awesome, but my question is, what do you do in the winter time if your plumbing breaks down? Well, Jimmy, I guess just go down to the river and bathe in mid-January. It's okay. You'll be cool. Then come back to the RV and line a bucket with a plastic bag and go ahead and shit in it. Listen, Jimmy. What the hell you think you do? You find out what the problem is in the plumbing. You get it fixed. <laughs> Alright, let's move on to the next uh, fan. This one's from Karen in Michigan. She writes me, I love your RV Steve show. Thank you very much, by the way. Uh, it is getting good ratings on uh, uh, cable. But uh, she's writing me in, uh, love your show and everything. And Oh. And then her question is, uh, what would you do if you were sleeping and suddenly you woke up to the ceiling leaking water on you from the rain? Gee, I don't know. Probably just torch the place, go down to a local hotel, sleep there and hit the vending machines and just forget all about it. What the hell you think you do? You get you get it sealed. Sure. Well, that's all I have time for. Uh, thank you. Get the fuck fuck off, man! Get the fuck fuck off! Yeah, this is things that happen at uh, RB Steve's parties. Thanks for stopping by. This is RB Steve telling you, you're going to live in an RV. Life is going to change drastically. That's right. You living in an RV? Your plumbing doesn't work? <laughs> you're going to have to in the bag. No lie. No Just a tip from RV Steve. Yeah, when I knew I was going to make this TV show, RV Steve show, you know, I, um, I knew it would be big. You know what I'm saying? I knew it would be big. So, I know it's going to go, it's going to go national. It's definitely going national. Uh, thank you for joining me at the RV Steve Show. Until next time. God damn, I could play all day with that guy. I believe you could too.